Steel is an iron alloy that is one of the most popular used materials in the construction and manufacturing industry. It is an extremely important type of metal thanks to its wide range of applications. Steel has undergone significant evolution over time, and around 80% of all the types of modern-day steel were developed in the past 20 years. The reason for this evolution is to improve its mechanical or physical properties such as strength, workability, or corrosion resistance. There are thousands of different grades of steel which are created to adapt to different kinds of applications. These steel grades are broadly classified into four groups. They are carbon steel, alloy steel, stainless steel, and tool steel. In this video, we shall discuss in summary the alloy steel. Welcome to James Sword Research Channel. If you find the video useful please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification icon for more content. For a detailed explanation of the other types, stainless and carbon steel, check the description for the link to the video. Alloy steel. Alloy steels are produced by combining steel with additional alloying elements such as nickel, copper, chromium, manganese, silicon, titanium, etc. Although some people confuse alloy steel with carbon steel, the two are not the same. Technically, every steel is an alloy as it is created by combining iron with carbon. However, to be officially designated as an alloy steel in metallurgy and in the steel industry, the steel must contain one or more other elements in addition to iron and carbon. It is the amount and variety of alloying elements that make the properties of alloy steel different from carbon steel. Adding these elements improves the strength, ductility, corrosion resistance, and machinability of the steel. There are two types of alloy steel, which are classified based on the percentage of their alloy composition. They are 1. Low alloy steel, contains less than 8% weight of alloying elements. 2. High alloy steel, contains more than 8% weight of the alloying elements. Effects of some alloying elements in alloy steel. 1. Nickel. Nickel improves the toughness and strength of steel by refining the grain size, making it more resistant to damage caused by high impact loads and shocks. It also improves the resistance to corrosion and oxidation at elevated temperatures in certain applications. 2. Titanium. It is a strong carbide former. Corrosion resistance, hardenability, and overall strength are improved by the addition of titanium. 3. Manganese. It is known for its exceptional hardening properties and wear resistance. It improves machinability, strength, and toughness. 4. Chromium. The addition of chromium increases corrosion resistance, hardenability, and wear resistance. 5. Molybdenum. It improves the stability of carbide, thereby improving the strength, hardness, toughness, and weldability of the steel. 6. Vanadium. The addition of vanadium is used to refine grain size. Steel containing vanadium has a much finer grain size than steels of similar composition without vanadium. It is also known for its corrosion resistance and shock absorption capabilities. 7. Tungsten. Increases strength, wear resistance, and corrosion resistance and improves its hardness. Advantages of alloy steels. 1. Versatile and can have varying properties. 2. Alloy steel contains alloying elements that improve its strength and hardness, making it stronger than other types of steel. 3. Capable of withstanding high temperatures without losing its strength or other properties, making it ideal for use in high temperature applications. Disadvantages of alloy steel. 1. Can be very expensive to manufacture and fabricate than other types of steel, especially when specialized alloys are required. 2. Can be difficult to get the right mix of alloys to match the properties desired.